Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 15th of 2022. Well, it is titled in the heart of the Virgo cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is a part of the closest large cluster of galaxies containing about 2000 galaxies. And we're looking at just the central regions of this. Now many of the objects that you see here are galaxies. In fact, almost everything except for those objects with diffraction spikes, you can see a cross pattern going through the stars, because of diffraction as they are observed through the telescope. So those ones are stars within our own galaxy. But the other objects that you see here are additional galaxies. So we see some of the largest ones, including some of the large uh, elliptical galaxies which is which include m86 towards the center and m84 off to the right two of the large elliptical galaxies near the center of this cluster we can also see some spiral galaxies scattered around as well and we can see an interesting one called markarian's eyes and we can label that here up off over to the left hand side so we see both spirals and elliptical galaxies. And we can also see galaxies that look and appear to be interacting over in Markarian's eyes, the way they are distorted. So one galaxy has been distorted, perhaps by interactions from other galaxies. Now, when we study galaxy clusters, we can study their motions and their motions and how fast they're moving, tell us how much mass has to be within the galaxy cluster. And what we find is that there is a lot more mass here than we can see. And what does that mean? Well, if we think about that, for every galaxy that we see, there could be 50 or 100 galaxies worth of matter that are completely invisible to us that we cannot see at all. So there is a lot more mass. And this is what we call the dark matter. We see it through its gravitational effects through motions within the galaxy clusters like this, and through a gravitational lensing when galaxies very much more distant galaxies are distorted as their light passes through the cluster. Both of those allow us to make measurements of the mass of the cluster. And in both cases, we find that there is a lot of mass that we do not see here. So well beyond that, and one of the things that astronomers try to understand now is what the dark matter could be. What is all this matter that does not give off any kind of light? And we call it dark, not because it doesn't just give off any visible light, such as the galaxies here. But we also can't see it if we look at x-rays or radio waves or infrared or ultraviolet or gamma rays, any other type of electromagnetic radiation. This uh, this matter is completely dark. It does not give off anything. And the only way we can see it is through its gravitational interaction. But it vastly outnumbers the amount of visible matter within the universe. So that was our picture of the day for June 15th of 2022. It was titled in the heart of the Virgo cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.